Hello, welcome, welcome. Because I'm not really sure how this is going to work yet, so we're going to see. My friend is currently doing their skincare, and then I think we're going to try and stream together. So I'm really excited because I miss hanging out with them. So it's going to be a good day. It's going to be a fun day. Hello, welcome. It's clear what makeup we're going to be getting into today, and it's going to be really fun because my friend knows what they're doing, and I have no idea what I'm doing. So... <laughs> It's going to be a lot of guesswork. Uh, I don't have a glue stick too, so I'm going to be gluing my eyebrows with um, <laughs> bottle glue. Here's the question I can only ask another X fan. Okay, hit me with it. I'm curious. 80th anniversary. Okay, so what I did for my 80th anniversary pops is I took them out, but I kept the box because pops are very easy to carefully open and preserve most of the packaging. So, um... I took mine out, but I'm an out-of-box person, however, whenever I have something that is, uh, like, limited edition or limited run, I do keep the box, so that way if I would ever want to, you know, rebox it up either for resale or just for myself, I have that option, and I think pops are really good for that because you can carefully open the box and, like, you might lose some value if you open it and then put it back in, but you'll still have the box, so you'll be able to, like, have a box value, it just won't be, like, a perfect 10 mint. Um, the boxes are pretty. I like the foil, um, first appearances on the back. I just have the Jean and Cyclops. I might get... Oh. I might get the, um, Scarlet Witch one, though. I haven't decided yet. See, like, also, hi, Sergeant. <laughs> I, I like boxes, but I just, with my shelves, I like to actually display a lot of them, and I don't collect a whole lot of pops, so having just a couple in boxes doesn't do it for me. Um, basketball, uh, case is perfect for 16 pops across. Oh, that's actually really smart. I wouldn't have even thought about that, but yeah, like a baseball bat, that's probably the perfect size. Have you seen, um, they're going to be doing, I wish they had made a professor X though. Hello, uh, hi Darius. Um, my brain is farting. Did you see they're doing 20th anniversary X-Men pops? I think there's an Xavier with that. Um, I'm kind of really bummed out, though, because they just have Dark Phoenix. They don't have, like, Jean. And I'm like, but it's the 20th anniversary of the first movie. And I love her green and black suit from the first movie. So I'm a little bummed. I'll probably still buy Dark Phoenix, but I'm not super keen on her outfit from Last Stand. So they just announced them today. It's going to be, like, Cyclops in a trench coat. I think there's two Wolverines, because there always is. Um... Fomka Dark Phoenix from Last Stand. I want to say there's a Storm and an Xavier, but I could be wrong. Um, so yeah, no, there'll be there'll be those pops. They're gonna be really cool. I have X for when it first came out, though. It has the yellow hover chair. That's sweet. Trench coat Cyclops, right? I'm so excited. I love trench coat Cyclops. Um, it's one of my favorite looks, so I'm very excited about that. I'm definitely getting that one. I haven't decided if I'm going to get the Fomka, because <sighs> Last Stand gives me feels. I'd love to see a Nightcrawler. That would be cool. I still hope they roll out a whole collection of them for Marvel Legends. I think they're doing an Old Man Logan, and they're doing, um, I think it was like a Mystique. But I would love to see like a full line for the 20th anniversary. Um, I'm gonna put a headband on. So I have no idea what I'm doing at all. This will be clutch. Okay, I'm like nervous to do this. I feel like you're not supposed to just cover your eyebrows in glue. Okay. Ugh, my face is already broken out though. So. I guess we'll just apply directly to the eyebrow. This feels so wrong. Uh, I'm such a fan of your makeup transformations. Thank you so much. I'm having a lot of fun just experimenting with things. Like, today's going to be an entire guesswork. I've never done body paint, um, and I've never done the glued down brow thing. So, you know, if this goes poorly, we're on this journey together. <laughs> um... Um, so I got garlic and I got donkey, which are the second hottest at my favorite wing place. 
I usually like to get one spicy and one not spicy just to mix it up because if I get multiple spicy ones then it's just not a great time. Oh, this is so cursed. I look like I have saber tooth eyebrows. Like, can y'all see this? <laughs> oh, also my acne lovely. How many X-Men figures do you have? Um, define figures. Do you mean statues? Do you mean just Marvel Legends? Uh, all of them? <laughs> 39 plus 4 pops. Statues, not legends, and not pops. I have 12. Um... I have a handful of the Kotobukiyas, and then um, a couple of gallery selects. They're behind me, actually, in this cabinet, um, so I can't see them right now. Hi! <laughs> How are you? Uh, good. You were just talking about your eyebrows, and I want you to look at mine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Hey, but that's probably wiser, because, like, I don't even know. Like, I don't have a glue stick, so we're just... <laughs> Dude, I just shaved mine off. That's dedication. It's dedication. I, I'm like, playing. don't have the patience to draw them on every day, and they're so blonde that I feel like I would just look like I have no eyebrows in. <laughs> yeah. I'm at the, like, tail end of my raven makeup. Like, I've had this for, like five years and it's just now running out oh man yes i i am trying to talk in isa to doing rachel with me because i feel like we'd be dope as gina rachel so peer pressure <laughs> all the redhead shenanigans so this is what we're going with today for orange <laughs> oh i've done that before for um for my jester test i it was literally clown white mixed with a blue lipstick oh man aim for persephone it turned out so good though it works yeah it's what we're gonna do today and i also have like roosters because i have no impulse control so i'm just gonna be like casually eating hot wings while we do this that's fine <laughs> i scarfed down a piece of toast <laughs> before i came over onto this also, my eyes are yellow because, um, my raven contacts dried out, and I don't have any other contacts other than these that are prescription. Shit sucks. I opened up my green contacts, and they were, like, dried and fused to my contact case, so I was like, well, I guess that's not happening. Yeah. That's basically what happened to me. I haven't worn them since the MGM. Mmm. So they're, uh, well past expired. The MGM was lit, though. It was. I still think about it from time to time, because I miss dancing. I just want conventions back. Same. I would like to be a drunk fool. <laughs> yes. Friends in the middle of a place that I'm not familiar with. So I guess I'm going to paint my whole face yellow first, I guess. Contour with orange. That makes sense. I'm the moon. Yes. Oh, I'll be the sun! Oh! <laughs> That's why I like shipping them. <laughs> We're going to find all the audios. Huh? We're just going to find all the audios and just have chaotic gay debauchery. I'm going to try. <laughs> no, I'm just mega pale. <laughs> this is how I look all the time. I'm getting ready to be Palpatine. That's what's going on. What if, though, you just have the whole Raven costume on, and then you take the hood off, and it's just Palpatine makeup? That would be pretty good. <laughs> Hello, what's up? I'm getting into Starfire. Uh, so today's gonna be <laughs> interesting, because I've never done full body paint, and I'll be doing decently large amounts of my body. Uh, if you want um, any tips... Let me know. Is Tinkering Pixie a great makeup artist, too? Yes. Uh, like, I do full body when the stream is over. Yeah, when the stream is over, just go click their page. All of, wow. Most of your costumes involve body paint, I feel like. I think it's more fun that way. I don't know. <laughs> no, I can see it. It, it gives you, like, extra challenge and extra transformation points. Yeah. 
It's more fun. It's, um, not, so if you know, to... it's not as hard as people make it out to be, I don't, like, personally think. But obviously everyone has their issues with it. And then you're fine. Like, most of the contour that I do, I do with eyeshadow. Otherwise it looks really, really flat. That's what, like, I'm nervous because there's really no good way. So this top has an invisible zipper, so it's not like I can't. I have to put it on over my head, right? Uh, so I put on the top first, but I'm really, like, scared I'm just going to get paint all over my costume trying to do, like, my neck in these little circles. <laughs> mm. Mm. Yeah. Wait. But, um, somebody asked for stories between us <laughs> from Khan. <laughs> Okay, so the first time, the first time I met Issa, uh, <laughs> <laughs> at Colossal Con, which is a convention at a water park, if you don't know, and they have these giant, giant drinks, so it's, like, probably 1 p.m., um, it was pretty early, yeah, and I'm trying to get this X-Men group together, and it's always chaos trying to have groups meet up at conventions, if you've never done it, um, and I was stressed because, like, no one was meeting at the meeting place at the time they were supposed to. And uh, I think going up the stairs, I think I yelled at you going away from me, not coming towards me. Uh, yeah. I see a Jubilee. And I just scream, like, at the top of my lungs, like, Jubilee! Uh, and somehow hoodwink an entire photo shoot out of them. That was so funny. And now we're friends. <laughs> that was only my second photo shoot ever, by the way. Oh, really? Uh huh. You did super well. Like you looked very comfortable. It's because I just did um. Ahsoka. So I was more comfortable posing. Also, oh the the glue is already like. Look at that. Ooh. Mm. Mm hmm. <laughs> Wait. What are you doing? I glued down my eyebrows. Uh, How did you do it though? So, like. Uh, I use this because I don't have a glue stick because I'm heathen. Mm. Yeah, so I'm trying to, like, see if it'll work. I can always just peel it off if I need to, but... Yeah, because the way that I seal my eyebrows for Ahsoka is, um, I do a layer of glue, and then you, like, the way that you do it, you press down and up to make it as flat as possible. And then um, you put powder over it, and you wait a little bit, and then you do another layer. I, I usually have to do, like, three layers. We're going to try that before I get too involved in this paint and see if I can, like, make it not crusty. If it's crusty, it's probably fine, because, you, you know, five-foot rule. Right? <laughs> yeah, honestly. Uh, TikTok beauty feature rule. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. And the the glue will feel really weird <laughs> when you seal your eyebrows with it because you'll feel your eyebrow move after you seal it. And you'll it's... just you'll feel it move as a unit, you know? Oh yeah. If it's properly sealed, that's how it should feel. <laughs> I already, like, can't emote with my eyebrows, so I'm ready. <laughs> when I was on Star Trek, Lisa Hansel, the makeup artist, she did airbrush for all areas. Yeah, um, airbrush is definitely a cool way to go. It's something I've looked into, especially because at some point I want to do New 52 Starfire and uh, Mystique. And both of those have so much body paint that I'm going to look into airbrush. But um, for now, we're just going to go the lazy way. If you these. can avoid it, I would avoid alcohol paint because it's really awful for your skin. I don't know how it's really hard to get off. Is, but mm. yeah, I feel like my skin's sensitive enough that I feel like I would not have a good time. No, it's like it's good when you have to wear it for like a long time and you're going to be sweaty and then you can take it off pretty immediately. Like if you're doing a shoot. I don't know, but that's rough. Yeah, I'm, like, everything I've heard, I've heard, like, trying to take showers and stuff afterwards to even get it off is brutal. 
Plus, my skin yeah. is very, very sensitive, so I'm I just kind of like... Do, just do water paint if you can. I know Mehron says mm -hmm. the kind that you can load into a... Um... Oh, shoot. Wow, I forget the word. You know what I mean. Airbrush? But, yeah, airbrush. Thank you. And I got if you. you just seal it with, like, Ben Nye Final Seal, you should be fine. I will have to. Because I feel like I'm probably going to end up doing Starfire a whole lot, so. That means I have to do Raven a whole lot. Yeah. Like, abdomen and arms. Yeah, luckily, I don't have to do a whole lot of my arms. Um, but the pants are very low-rise, so pretty much the entirety of my stomach needs to be painted. Yeah, uh, to avoid legs and arms, you could look into tights and arm socks. I think I'm going to buy tights. I just kind of want to look in person because I'm not sure how orange some of the ones I'm seeing online are. Um, because really, colors. that's what, yeah, I've heard they're really good. They are. Um, if you want to compare, the ones that I use for Ahsoka are their orange ones. Okay. That's good to know. Because, like, I think, like, I just need to paint my hands. Like, the rest of my arms are pretty much covered, so I'll probably just paint my hands and seal the hell out of them. Um, but I'll probably get tights, and then I haven't found a good way to avoid painting my stomach yet, so I'll probably if, have to paint that. If you don't want to paint your hands, I know We Love Colors also sells seamless arm socks, and you could, um, sew them into the suit. That would be nice, because I have those wrist things that go on, and I could probably just sew those onto it. Yeah, you could do that. They're like $35 or something, but... Oh my god, I've tried sewing arm socks like four different times and I can never get it to work. So, I think it's a worthy investment if you think you're going oh, to wear yeah. the costume a lot. I think I'm going to do arm socks and tights for Mystique because I just don't want to stain a white costume blue. That makes sense. Because she's a dark enough blue that I feel like the paint would not come out. Probably not. I get to use uh, the new palettes that I got. I'm so excited. <laughs> yes. Any other fun convention stories of us? <laughs> oh, no. Um, I just keep thinking about KatsuCon. <laughs> yeah, like, KatsuCon, like, I just have vivid flashbacks, and I'm like, I wish I could just go back and relive KatsuCon again. I miss it. Yeah. Like, <laughs> uh, we went to a party at the MGM, and me and Temperance were the only ones in costume. <laughs> Temperance, not as much, because you were just wearing a wig and a dress, but I was Raven. <laughs> yeah, like, you, I didn't know what to expect. I had never been there, so I was like, I guess, like, fancy costumes, I was maybe. Like, hey, I we're gonna do it together, if anything, <laughs> and it'll be fine, because there'll be two of us. Yeah, and I, I still kind of felt bad, because I just had, like, my Triss wig and my Triss necklace on, and other than that, I looked passing as a normal human. <laughs> yeah, but then I was spotted. <laughs> yeah. By, um, Alex Drastel, because he was also in costume. Yes. And, I didn't and we thought he looked like our friend Ryan. With him. And he looked like Ryan. I pointed at him, and he went, oh, you're in costume, too. I went, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> now I have to be social. Oh, no. Oh, no. But it was fine, because he's like a massage therapist, and he cracked my back. <laughs> it's honestly the way to go. No, I follow him now, and I see his costumes always pop up on my feed, and I'm always just like that MGM party, though. <laughs> it was really fun he kept giving me chocolate coins <laughs> oh yeah because he was in witcher yeah he was literally the witcher and one of them was melted and he was like apologizing profusely and i thought it was really funny <laughs> have some melted chocolate yeah the next day he gave me a like one that wasn't melted and I was like wow you how did you even remember that I was wasted 
No, I remember, like, we were leaving the MGM to try and go back to the main hotel, and that guy kept, like, talking to us, and we were both too shwaisa to hold a conversation, and we're just like, costumes, uh-huh. I think he was trying to get us to stay with him, if I recall. I think so, too. And me and you were like, no, we can't, who can stay? <laughs> I'm not an expert, but you're safe with water-based paint. Yeah, I heard good things. That's I have a friend I... that does okay, radio but... body paint. Do you remember when I wore not to um, Hocking Hills? Yes. That was water-based paint, and it was 100 degrees outside. Oh. So, as long as you seal it, it's good. Yeah, good photographers will definitely help you pose. That's a big thing for me was working with people who really helped me at the beginning, and now I feel like I'm competent at posing. Yeah, even if, like, I'm confident at it, sometimes, sometimes you just go to a shoot drunk, you know? <laughs> Me at Dragon Con. Like, I try and get stuff done, but I'm like... <laughs> like, so, <laughs> a guy bought me two tequila shots at the party we went to at KatsuCon. I don't know why. He just bought me them and then walked away. I didn't interact with him before or after. <laughs> and I took them both. And I was like, I remember oh, that. We're, we're doing it. And, and like, I was doing fine. And then I blacked out. And then, <laughs> and then I somehow found my friend Jake and I went home. And, but I only could sleep for three hours before I had to get up and get ready for a shoot. So I woke up and I was still like really tipsy. <laughs> and that was my Jorno shoot. No, I I was supposed to help like hold lights and stuff for that. And I just texted Isa at like some godly morning hour and I was like, hey, I'm like still gluing my wig on. This isn't gonna happen. And he's like, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, it was fine. It was really, really bright that morning. Um, I don't know how you use glue. I don't even like the feeling of jam on my face. I hate sticky, and somehow glue on my eyebrows feels more like, um, the rigid colliden than it does sticky, so I'm somehow okay with it. Yeah, once it sets, it doesn't feel sticky. My drag friends are gonna quake at how bad I just did my eyebrows. <laughs> It'll be a lot better once you get a glue stick. Don't worry. It's hard to adjust the face when you can't see what the camera sees. Yeah, well, I, you're on a ring light right here, and then I have two mirrors, and, well, three mirrors, <laughs> so. Yeah, I'm in the same situation. I have my ring light in front of me that has a mirror on it. I have a ring light mirror. It's really nice. That is nice. I used to have one uh, when I lived with my parents, and then I totally broke it trying to move to my dorm, so I just have, like, one of the little stand ones now. But I got one of those ring lights off Amazon. It's the tripod that holds your phone, and it's been a game changer. I love it. Ooh. Yeah. So, that. like, if I if I do, like, self-shoots and stuff now, I can either do front-facing or, you know, just back camera, but it's nice just having a little bit of lighting, even though it's not, like, super bright. I'm a photographer, too. If they don't have poses ready for you, then they are... Oh, okay, as a photographer. Um, I wouldn't say that necessarily. They could also just be very new, if it's just, like, a hallway thing. But the yeah. nicest experience I've ever had with photo photographers is, it's like, you, they know you're they're shooting with you, and they know the character you're shooting, and they look up character poses so that they can help you pose. That's Yeah. <laughs> That's always super, super handy. Okay, I don't know, like, it's doing this. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to work. Um, MegaCon. I've never been to MegaCon, nor do I know where particularly MegaCon is. There's so many conventions nowadays. I don't know where MegaCon is either. For a second I thought it was MagFest, but no. Yeah. Hi, Issa and friends, Starfire and Raven. Yes, uh, I'm just very slow at this, and I feel like Issa's going to be done by the time I'm entirely fast. I'm going very big. slow, actually, right now. Um, 
I'm like one of those con goers who gets done way too fast and then I have to wait around for my friends to get done. I'm usually like medium, but these eyebrows are holding me up like hella. Yeah, so. it's my first time doing those. So take your time. Oh, this eyebrow is like a lot better. It's not great, but like. <laughs> <laughs> We'll see. My bangs don't cover as much as my of my eyebrows as I was hoping, because I was kind of hoping I could just hide my eyebrow tails under the bangs. But the wig really didn't want to have bangs, so, like, I got them as far in the center as I could get them, but it really, like, is grumpy. Bangs are really hard to style. Like, I hate styling wigs. It's my least favorite thing to do. I don't I've only been asked for a pic once with my Spider-Man Noir and I tried to pose, but it was so awkward. If you're not used to photo shoots, it is kind of awkward, um, your first couple shoots. Like, the first time I got Poison Ivy photos back, I was, like, really shocked because I thought whatever the hell I was doing looked really cool, and it really did not. Um, <laughs> so, it takes a little bit to know thyself. Uh, I think MegaCon is near Orlando. <laughs> Pixie with that god-level contouring. Thank you, it's all eyeshadow. Hell yeah. Now I'm adding highlight. Because you remember the whole Kava and D conversation in the group chat. I got this really nice <laughs> eyeshadow. And it's all like these hollow things. Hold on. Let me show you. I thought about getting that one just because I liked the box. Honestly, like it's gorgeous. It was $10 when I looked. But I don't know if you can tell. Oh, those are so pretty. Yeah. But there's, there's a green one, a blue one, a purple one, and a pink one. And they're so cute. Now for the actual orange. Oh god, that's... okay. <laughs> Here we are, I guess. <laughs> this orange is so much darker than I anticipated. Cool. It looks good, though. Thank you. I think... It's so much different than the yellow. I'm just going to bring it in and blend, and then I think go in with yellow to highlight. Yeah, I would do the same thing. So I expect it to be closer to the yellow. And thank you. Um, it's just a, a lot of makeup practice since middle school, and a lot of guesswork. <laughs> I just, literally, the only thing that I do is I make my front half of my eyeshadow, a, like, a gold shimmery thing, and then the rest of it is my color, and it makes it look professional, but it's just me slapping on colors with my fingers, usually. Thank you again. I'm getting a lot of compliments. It's so sweet. Yes. I started out looking like a pale mess, and I'm getting in. Actually, Kyle, I have I have these wild yellow contacts in so I can read. And I hello. <laughs> I am fixing up my figure space and just looked up. Pixie looks awesome. Yes, no, like contour skills are god level. I have a body paint highlight posted on my profile um, from when I did a Not the Brave like goblin makeup test. So it's with green paints from Mayron. And I don't watch a lot of wig tutorials because I try to avoid styling wigs at all costs. Oh, whole mood. Wow. Mm hmm <laughs> I'm going to attempt to do my eyeliner from far away, but let's see how that goes. I, um, I watched, like, eight tutorials to try and figure out Starfire bangs last night, and I still think they're just meh, so I might end up doing them all over again. Oh, look, my eyebrows are actually kind of gone if you squint and don't look at how chunky they are. <laughs> if you squint and you don't look at me and you're five feet away and... <laughs> yeah, then it works. <laughs> if you do the thing and you don't fuck it up, it just works. Who knew? Not me. No, honestly, like, when I actually go to get face paint, I might just message you and see what colors you use for Ahsoka, because orange is so tricky. Right now. <laughs> I have all my paint. I use one paint. It's the regular orange from Mayron Paradise. Okay. Because this one's like hella streaky. I don't know if you can see, but oof. 
Um, it could also be the way that you're applying it. I usually have to do it in tapping motions, and I see that you are dragging it. Yes, I will. So uh, kind that's of... a cream paint, right? Yes. With all of my paints, I do this motion. Okay. Because this, like on your neck, it doesn't matter as much because there's not as many pores on your neck, but on your face, I tap it. But this is the color of Ahsoka's what, focus. Yeah. Ooh, I like that. It looks you said it's just regular orange? There we go. Okay. That's just the only one I use, and then you can get, um, I think it's just the regular orange tights from Mehron. I mean, not Mehron. Um, uh. We love color. Yeah, I'm struggling with brands today. <laughs> oh, I laughed and it looked horrifying. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. Once you put lipstick on, it'll look better. I look horrifying. I want to let you know. Once you get lipstick on, you won't be a horror anymore. But I think lipstick oh. and, like, one, I have the dark red eyebrows to make these look hopefully less, like, chunky blobs. You know. <laughs> I have a treat for you. It's a special treat. It's yes, the good boy. <laughs> it's a boy. It's a boy. Oh. <laughs> the other fellow is sleeping. I still need to come over and meet them. I have yet to. They would love you so much. I need chinchilla validation. <laughs> From the soft boys. They are so soft, it is crazy. He's purring. Oh! <laughs> so sometimes when they're very, very relaxed, they just vibrate. He's the cutest. I'm gonna set this with powder and probably instantly regret it, but we're gonna do it. My contact's being weird. Hold on. Eyebrows. Is it eyebrow time? Attempting to be. I'm gonna powder them with eyeshadow, but... Outside of Raven and Starfire, would you two cosplay anyone else? We both cosplay a lot of people. But we are looking at a lot of costumes together, and we have for like a year, and we just haven't <laughs> done them. Yeah. Quarantine made me finally pull the trigger on doing Starfire, because I was like, sure, what else am I going to do in my house, besides paint myself orange? I used to do... Is her name Rachel Ross? No, wait. What's her name? Rachel Gray? Rachel Gray. Thank you. Rachel Ross is someone else. Rachel Roth is a uh, raven, right? Yeah, I think so. I was thinking Ross, and then I was like, what's going on? <laughs> Something's not right. I still want you to cosplay Avantika. Yes. I can closet cosplay her. I just feel like I should honestly probably put more effort into it than that. And, um, then, and then we were supposed to do a Dragon Age thing, but... Yes. <laughs> R.I.P. R.I.P. Yeti Pond. But yeah, we still might do that group at some point, though. I think that'd be awesome. Yeah, I haven't played them, but um, I like how Sarah looks a lot. I think you'd be a fantastic Sarah. She's, She's really pure cute. chaos. You would be in love. <laughs> would you ever consider doing a full body paint cosplay? I got close to it with um, Ahsoka and with my Mina Ishido cosplay. Those are the ones I've had to paint the most for. But if you can use tights, you might as well. You're just going to be wasting product. Yeah. And it's less messy. 
So even if I could, these it, like it, it wastes a lot of product and it's more messy in the long run. But maybe for a shoot or something, definitely not for a con, if I could help it. Yeah, no, full body paint at a con is a little bit stressful, I feel like. I wanted to do like very buff looking brows, but I might take them down a little bit. That might make them look um, a little more proportional to your face. Yeah. Contact is not happening, apparently. Too algae? Yeah, I don't know why. They're usually fine. Sometimes when my contacts start getting older, they just constantly hurt, and that's when I know I need to get rid of them. I think I have something in my eye. Ooh. Because these are really new. I bought them for Katsukon. Oh, yeah, then they should be fine. I'll just leave it out for now. My eye's irritated. <laughs> I'll just be heterochromatic for a little bit. It's a look. It's a vibe. It is certainly something. Just shoved my entire knee into my desk. <laughs> oh no. Ooh. This orange eyeshadow I have is like almost like orange highlighter. Ooh. That's pretty. Yeah. Like. Oh, that is basically highlighter for body paint. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think I'll put my gem on. Aren't you? Ah. Thank you. Jordan is one of my favorites. Uh, if you scroll back far enough, you'll also see my Johnny Joe star, but I haven't cosplayed him since August, so I don't have a ton of content for him anymore. But I do be loving JoJo's. It is true. I still need to watch JoJo at some point. I will make you. I made like come over to hang out here like you're watching JoJo, and they all did the exact same thing. They were suffering through part one just like I did. As soon as they got to part two, they were living, and then they were obsessed. <laughs> <laughs> and now I can't get them to stop cosplaying it, if I even wanted to. Josuke does need love, but I mostly just cosplay the blonde boys. I'm actually staring at my Dio cosplay in the closet. <laughs> One day I'll wear him again, but not anytime soon. <laughs> you should pick a little versions of Starfire and Raven together. We probably could. I bet between the two of us, we could probably closet cosplay right now. Like I have a NASA shirt in the closet right now. So <laughs> getting into that right now. Yeah. Like if I just put on my wig while I'm wearing this crop top, like that's it. <laughs> So, you can probably expect that from us at some point. But the only thing I need is, um, pink shorts. I have maroon ones, but not pink ones. Yeah, like, what I'm wearing is just a black shirt. So, that's it. That's all I need. Yeah, I feel like... Especially now that I have the silver armbands to go with this costume, like, I, that could be a very feasible thing I could see us doing. I've been wanting to do that, so, yeah. It'd be a cute, cute, casual thing. Yeah, we'll just go shopping after we're done or something. That'd be so cute. Right? The best. I think before I do eyelashes, I'm going to put on the wig cap. Because I always forget to do that, and then my eyelashes are like... I'll just do this. I'll have her, like, 80s curls. <laughs> Hide the eyebrow. <laughs> Hide the bad eyebrow. Only the good eyebrow can be shown.
Now I just get to watch you. Oh. <laughs> the chinchilla is already sleeping. I can show you guys if you want. Hold on. Might as well while I stick on eyelashes. So one sec. Ignore my messy room. But first ah! <laughs> That's okay. They have this big ass cage that takes up most of my room. There's two of them. There's one. There's a baby. And there's the other baby. And they're nocturnal, so they're definitely sleepy. So I tend to leave them alone until um the afternoon or usually closer to evening. But those are the babies. Two cute babies. Two cute babies. They're both six years old this uh this month. I think that's the same age as the cats. And they're all baby. Yes. Just got a cat tree for them, and they've been going ballistic on it, and it's great. Oh yeah, I saw that. <laughs> you are spoiling them, as you should. So your eyelashes look so good. My eyelashes? Yes. Thank you. They were like six dollars. I can. I, did I send you what they were? They're like. I think so. They're teddy lashes. Yeah. Yeah, I, saw, I did the thing that everyone does. I saw someone use them on TikTok, and I was like, mm -hmm. bet, they're cheap as fuck. I'm getting them. Hell yeah. And they are incredibly comfy and really easy to use. And now I want to use them all the time because they give me, like, cow eyelashes, you know? Yeah. They're really cute. No, oh, they look really good. The problem is I like really wispy ones, but they don't show up on camera as well as they do in person. These ones I found, I thought that they did, because I wore them when I did Sophie. Yeah, no, those are picking up really well. I would recommend these. They look really good. I'm glad I got them, and they were really, um, really cheap. <laughs> I'm gonna go grab my wig real quick. I'll be back. Get it. I think I'm gonna just draw in a little bit of a widow's peak because um, I photoshopped one on when I did my test for this, and I think the widow's peak made it look really good. Oh, yeah. Do it. So I might just, like, bring it down a little bit. Does she have a widow's peak? Slightly, like... Her bangs in the TV show look like a little heart. Yeah. So, like, the middle just has, like, an ever-so-slight little Widow's Peak, but I wouldn't say it's as much as, like, Raven's. That makes sense. The, the bangs look cute. I like them. Thank you. It took uh, a lot of guesswork, and I'd like them to be a little more, like, forward, but... Forward. You could yeah, try like I said, using, um, like a straightener to try and train them that way. Yeah, I'm just, the listing on Amazon said nothing about heat, so I'm a little nervous. Just do like a little test strand at the bottom. Because they should have okay. some heat resistance, it just might not be a lot. Put it on a low yeah. setting and try and do that. That's what I did for my Sophie wig to um, curl it. Okay, because that turned out really well. Yeah, just, like, test it on a bottom strand that, you know, you can, like, trim away. Maybe in the back. Because that wig, I don't even know where it's from. I got it for free from a friend of mine who got it online. It's probably from eBay or something. I don't know. But I had no uses for it, and then I was like, oh, wait. I could use I this do. for something. Yeah. No, it's a super cute wig. Yeah, it's a little thin and small, but it works <laughs> for now.
<laughs> I have no idea if that looks okay, but we'll go with it. It's picking up a little bit shiny, but... Um, who is our favorite X-Men characters or mutant powers and why? I really like Iceman, Bobby. Is that Bobby, right? Yeah, Bobby. Yeah, no, you got it. Yeah, I really like Iceman. Um, it could be the fact that he's one of the, like, few canon gay characters in the whole lore, but I like yeah. him. And I always no, think Bobby that's the charm. really cool. Otherwise, I think Angel is really awesome. Um, but that's, I don't know. I don't know a ton about Angel because I'm just a baby with X-Men lore, but I do be loving those boys. OG5, though, hell yeah. Mm, yeah, like, I cosplay Jubilee, and she's the fucking best. I love her. She's a mall rat. She's chaotic. She's perfect. <laughs> yes. I would say my favorite mutant power is probably Mystique or Telepathy. Jubilee is extremely sick, especially her... 90s outfit from the the tv show i really love that outfit because she yes. just looks cool as hell um jubilee is actually the cosplay where me and temperance met it's true <laughs> it was very chaotic but it, it was, was fantastic really chaotic, but it was really fun we did not plan on meeting up at all it was so cute <laughs> no and i had a blast it was so fun so i'm glad you did I had two X-Men groups that day, and it was incredible. Ooh, I, uh, I did to see your Nightcrawler. I love Nightcrawler cosplays. <laughs> He's like the cutest X-Men. Right? I just want to like... He's baby. Give him head pats. He is baby. He is baby. It's exactly right. Are you gonna do his, like, weird feet <laughs> and hands? My friend actually, um, like, took the heel off of a high heel shoe and then sculpted the toes. So it was just, like... Is that the guy who shot with us? He was, like, there mm -hmm. very briefly. Yeah. His shoes were so cool. <laughs> I am surprised he went in grass with them. Probably just like, think about it. I don't know. Balance would be so hard, I was impressed. He is powerful. I orange them up a bit. They look good. For a first try, I'm not mad. I think a glue stick will definitely help with the eyebrows. It looks very even on camera, so I'd say you did a very good job. Yay! Much better than my first attempt. My first attempt <laughs> with Ahsoka. So it oh, was man. like I did all orange on my face and it was really streaky. Because that was, like, oh, no, you froze. I wasn't used to it. Yeah, my battery yeah. is low, that's why. <laughs> Hold on. Fair enough. But Ahsoka, as my first one, she's the, still the most difficult body paint that I have to do. No, her stuff looks really intense, especially because you have to do the white parts, which is, like, hard enough to, to carve do those out. First. Yeah, you have to do those first, is oh, what man. I found out over time. <laughs> no, I like your nose contour, how you do the little line across. It's adorable. It gives me a little button nose because I don't have one. <laughs> Same. I'm like, man, I have to do Wait, that. Wait, <laughs> like, like, look, we're the queens of big noses. Big nose? We should just have a squad. <laughs> like no squad. <laughs> okay. Are we done? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Let me see if we have any more questions, but if not, I think, yeah, we're good. We did it. We did the thing, and it was fun. So, yeah, no, I. this was super fun. Thank you for tuning in. We should do makeup together again soon. Yes. Yes, Are we going even if it's not funny. To go make videos now? I don't know. 
Yeah, no, uh, I'm probably gonna paint my shoulders and stuff off camera, so I think we're good. Bye.